Hello everyone, this is KXVI Games, and I'll be showing you how to do the skip glitch in the beginning of chapter 10. I know there are plenty of videos like this, but I have yet to see one that explains it thoroughly for others to comprehend. So I will explain in great detail on how to do this. The things you will need is a Puppet Master Soul. It doesn't matter how leveled up it is, but having it maxed out will serve its use seeing as it may change the degree and angle at which it is thrown. So be sure to have it maxed out if you're following this video, although it is not necessary. You're going to need a Yorick Soul. This one does not need to be maxed out, you simply need it to get on top of the towers behind you. You could jump on top of a player's head, but they won't be there all the time for you. From a personal opinion, having Sonic Boots while doing this feels a lot easier. It's not needed, but it feels better, and it allows you to move farther and quicker in the air. Before we get into anything, I must tell you that you have to use your D-pad for this, in which I'll explain the reasons later. To make this easier, you're gonna want to put the Puppet Master Soul into the B command, so you won't be moving anywhere else when the Puppet Master's effect will be needed. What you will need to do is get on top of the tower. This can either be done by jumping on top of the player's head or by using the Yorick Soul. Next, you're going to want to make sure Soma's right foot is between the first gap of the tower and the left foot is just before the third gap. Now once you have done this, you're going to want to do two full jumps and before you start descending, you release the Puppet Master and immediately hold down right on the D-pad and press A to make Soma kick downwards. But you cannot hit the ground at all. Otherwise, this causes you to not slide kick once the Puppet Master has teleported you. If the Puppet Master has landed near or on the crevice of the towers, then you have done it correctly. As soon as the Puppet Master teleports you, press A a few times until you jump. And as soon as you see Soma jump, hold A. If done correctly, Soma's body will be drawn towards the edge of the screen and start ascending above the map. Now, there are two ways of doing this. As soon as you reach Retro the Count's room, you will be drawn into it. Once you're under his coffin, start rapidly jumping while holding up left on the D-pad. However, the safest way for first timers is as soon as you reach Retro the Count's room, you immediately slide kick towards the left side of the screen. This will prevent you from being sucked into the door and being glitched to the ground. The skip glitch is actually done due to the game's frame rates per second, which explains why this skip glitch is almost impossible to do on single player. Multiplayer which has lag connections has to render the movements and stages for all players, causing the frame rates per seconds to decrease. My hypothesis suggests that the reason why Soma gets drawn in towards the wall is because of the frame rates per seconds being so low. It is trying to find the place that Soma will land, causing Soma's animation to do abnormal actions. Quoting off of Wikipedia, low frame rates per seconds does not give the illusion of motion effectively and affects the user's capacity to interact with the game. While frame rates per seconds that vary substantially from one second to the next, depending on computational load, produce uneven choppy movement or animation. Reason why you need to use the D-pad is because doing the downwards kick diagonally on the analog is quite different from using it on the D-pad. The degrees are different for both. Using the analog causes the downward kick to be done at a 30 degree angle, while the D-pad does it at a 45 degree angle. The 45 degree angle is what causes the players to slide kick after the Puppet Master teleports Soma. The bad part about this glitch is that you will not be able to get any of the other boss's souls, like Retro Death, Retro Creature, and the rest. Nor will you be able to get Death's Rope from Retro Death or Berserker Mail from Retro the Creature. Neither will you be able to get a Water of Life for you or any other players who does the glitch from the start of the stage. The good about this glitch is by doing it, you're able to defeat Retro the Count and finish the level much more quicker than doing it normally. So it's less stressful trying to get that 5 star drop from his chest. Or you can play normally and just die. Mm. But hey, this is KXVI Games and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, watch my other videos, and leave a comment on whether this was helpful to you or not. Now, enjoy getting shitty drops.